know from the same rat studies. Just just talk about figuring out how to cure it once you get it. Don't ask why everybody's getting it. Because the little murderers, the same ones that are making the money off the treatments, are the ones that gave it to you. They're sickening eugenicist murderers who promise to put stuff in your water like the White House science czar said. And they think it's real cute. And they think it's real funny that they're killing everybody out in the open and nobody wants to stand up against them. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, yeah, I also uh, bought a uh, atmospheric water generator so I can get myself off of the uh, the regular water supply. And uh, basically, you just plug it in the wall; it sucks water into it and produces high alkaline, uh, P high pH water well, to uh, also battle cancer. Cancer beater, uh, why why don't you just trust the government and drink the tap water? I mean, we do have the highest rates of cancer. They must they care. Are you an extremist? Because the white, other White House and Soros people, I have the article, are calling for shutting down the websites of conspiracy theorists, people that don't trust known certified liars. They're saying if you don't believe known certified liars, you should be arrested. What's wrong with that? Well, I don't trust them as far as you can throw them. Well, I mean, you know, that's because you're extreme. I mean, you're actually thinking for yourself. I, I, I uh, but uh, being serious. So, so what's happened to the uh, out of control cell growth, similar to our government uh, since you started the juicing and things? Well, it uh, completely reversed. I went from a uh, two inch golf ball size tumor and uh, two lymph nodes on each side of my abdominal area and a bunch of activity going on in my lungs. To absolutely clean and clear of cancer in, uh, in four months. And what are the doctors saying? Are they trying to have you arrested or something, forced on treatment? Uh, absolutely not, but uh, neither one of the oncologists wanted to know what I did to cure my cancer, which, uh, in my opinion, just goes to prove that an oncologist is nothing more than a drug-dealing poison pusher. Well, yeah, they get hundreds of thousands of dollars for, for somebody they treat, and you're talking about you know, three, four $4,000 per can of RAID. Most of the chemo is basically just 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 rat rat poison or roach poison. I mean, you know, that's why they've come out now with a you know three thousand dollar a bottle hemp variant that is used to treat a bunch of illnesses. That was in the news yesterday. In fact, guys, uh, put it was like AP company comes out with synthetic marijuana, uh, and 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 you know they've got a two hundred and fifty dollar bottle of fish oil that should cost ten dollars. That's synthetic and, uh, you know, th that they make money off of. And so, of course, they're trying to make it illegal for you to get fish oil for $10. So you have to buy it from them and go to a doctor. And I, I've seen articles where they SWAT team people now growing aloe vera saying it could be used as a drug. Look, you're not going to get aloe vera. You're not going to get fish. That's terrorism. <laughs> I mean, you know, you got to use heroin shipped in by the U.S. Army. <laughs> I appreciate your call, terrorist. Joseph in Colorado, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, how are you? I'm pretty evil right now. Yeah, I can tell, man. I guess I have a question and I've got a comment. Um, well, I guess my comment's pretty big. I wanted to say that, I mean, all this stuff that you're saying about the doctors with, you know, Big Pharma supposedly taking care of everybody, it, it's heavy down here. I mean, flu shots for free in some cases down at Walmart or at Walgreens. And yeah, that's because they care right about you. Jo Joseph, Joseph, they care about you. <sighs> they, they care about us so much that they got my mom and dad, you know, they got their drawers filled with drugs. They, they've taken my sister's um, uh, gallbladder out because it's got stones because she's sick from everything she's eating. And I've got aunts who have are paralyzed from diseases that have sprung out of nowhere, and it's all because my family's Hispanic. <laughs> I mean, I almost caught cancer um, in my in my colon, and I thankfully, you know, had it removed. It was a it was a cancerous polyp they they found inside me. Yeah, well, let me expand on that. I should do a report on that. Blacks and Hispanics, especially. Uh, are all being targeted, and, and I mean, you know, the diabetes, the cancer rates, all of it is off the charts, and they've done studies I've seen where the behavior isn't different, but they're getting more HIV, more hepatitis, and yes, it, 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 the globalist, there's no doubt, are targeting uh, people worldwide according to their race, and you're absolutely right. It, it's, it's no joke. I mean, my, you've said it. My parents have diabetes. They've got 
you know, other complications due to it. They're both obese. I mean, and that's just my parents, and that's but it's running through my family. And they've got all sorts of, like, it's either they're addicted to smoking cigarettes or it's addicted to drinking. And, and by the way, what do they do with um, cigarettes? They put chemicals in them to make them more addicting and make you smoke more. They're doing it with the GMO. They're doing it with all the additives. They're doing it. They're killing us. People ate even more calories than they do now, 50 years ago on average. It's that the stuff we're eating is killing us. I appreciate your call. God bless you. Sorry to hear that's happening to your family. Get them on the uh, tangy tangerine. Get them off the cigarettes. Get them to commit to not kill themselves. Get them off the GMO. Get them off the trans fats. What's killing us is stuff that isn't natural. I know that's extreme and I'm bad, but it's true. Here's a clip from Time Bandits I was uh, mentioning earlier. I mean, think about it. They have TV shows in the U.S., every major you know, anti-terror show, where they torture somebody's kid to get the answers, and it's always the right thing to do it. And then in the real world, in Abu Ghraib, they're torturing kids sexually. It comes out, and no one gets in trouble who gave the orders. I mean, I mean again, that's practicing evil openly. I want to go to Patrick and Doug, at least. They've been holding the longest. I guess I'll do a little bit of overdrive to get to everybody, but... Um, I got to get into all this Iran news. I haven't even gotten into the TEPCO news. I haven't gotten into the Davos news. I haven't gotten into quite a bit of it, but I did cover a lot today. We'll be right back. Ready to save? All right, that's enough. What, what an excellent movie. And, and that's what the globalists are doing. The devil wants to genetically engineer, screw everything up, murder people, engage in diseased activity. And that's what psychopaths and control freaks actually want. That's what people don't get. They're like, why does the New World Order want this? Well, why does a rattlesnake want to bite you? I, 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 you know, it's the old story of the scorpion. He asked the frog to take him across the river. The frog says, you'll, you'll sting me. And uh, he says, no, I won't, I promise. Just take me across. So the frog's nice. He takes him across. And when they get to the other side, uh, the scorpion stings him. And he's laying there dying. He says, but I took you across. Why would you sting me? And he said, because I'm a scorpion, silly. The Africans have, every culture's got it. They've got one, one with the cobra, uh, where the cobra is hurt and asks the old man to carry him out of the desert. And when he gets the cobra out of the desert and to some water and everything, the cobra bites him and kills him. And as the old man's dying, he says, why'd you bite me? And he goes, I'm a cobra. I mean, the founding fathers explained from history, if you let this happen, you will be enslaved. And the level of enslavement you live under is the exact level you put up with, Thomas Jefferson said that quote i just gave you and they said in the letters back and forth between him and john adams he said why and he said because it's a tropism that's what it does that's its nature <laughs> the worst of the worst will get in control and then they'll only be topped by people worse and then taught by people worse. So you always then sink to the bottom. And I don't know how much I can explain this to people. It is a absolute certainty that when I went, this was already going on, but for me, when I went and saw the military training to go door to door in the U.S. and take our guns, it's all in Police State 2000. When I went and saw that, and then said, well, I better check our other drills. Hopefully it's not happening in other drills. And I went to all these other drills and confirmed and saw them working with Boy Scouts to spy on their parents in the drills. I came back and started freaking out. And even though I had video of the Boy Scouts, people thought it was fake. Now today I can show you the New York Times going, look at our Explorer Scouts training to kill disgruntled veterans. And they say it with a straight face can somebody say danger 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 will robinson i mean 100 percent the people running the government it's a lot bigger than bill clinton obama bush the, the the special interest running things have a horrible destiny for this country they're taking us in a bad place and we're all kind of tied up in the car with the serial killer and i'm trying to you know, get out of the bonds. I'm saying, hey, you're not tied down as hard. Kind of help me get out there. Like, he'll hurt us if we if we resist. And I'm like, listen, he's taking us to some shack someplace to torture the daylights out of us. Our only chance is to get out of here. You see, that's the thing. You're not going to get out of this kissing up to this thing. 
I know a lot of you are scared out there, and you, and you think, well, what can you do? You can do a lot. I mean, you know, get aggressive, ladies and gentlemen, in the info war. What if our millions of listeners all did an InfoWars.com banner hang today? <laughs> That's such a good movie. Oh, Terry Gilliam's a genius. Uh, Patrick in Illinois, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello. Hey. Hi, Alex. Uh, I'm glad you were uh, talking about uh, people getting angry and doing something. I like I like Mark Dice's model of calling into different radio stations and uh a frequent one I call is a guy named Norman Goldman. Uh, he's like an establishment liberal kind of rag. And as soon as you mention Ron Paul or you mention any real issues or that Obama's bought off by Wall Street, he'll just cut you right off. But I, I think it, it's a good thing to do, you know, call into liberal or any anybody radio shows and try and get something about the NDAA or that both parties are bought off. And, uh, yeah, and just really keep hammering them, like, with, with the phone mobs and, you may have to use a pseudonym every once in a while, but it's, uh, I think it's a, it's a good way to get some information out there. Uh, absolutely. I mean, we're talking about all this tyranny, plugging websites, calling a talk radio, doing your own local show, getting your own access TV show, using every medium we can to warn people. Because folks, when they hear the truth now, jump on it. People are hungry for this information, telling people about radio shows that are telling the truth, getting the buzz going for Ron Paul even more. Uh, making copies of DVD films. God bless you. Good to hear from you. Keep it up, Doug. Uh, or Doug is the next caller. Doug in Illinois. Go ahead. Hello, Alex. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? You're looking good. Uh, first time caller. I got to tell you, I am awake now. Um, I'm a subscriber to the Prison Planet. I've got uh, your stickers on my truck. And... For quite some time, I guess you could say I was half asleep, and maybe I kept hitting the snooze button, but I'm fully awake now, and I'm um, trying to wage the info war here in West Central Illinois. Well, we just had another call from Illinois, so there's a lot of folks. I get a lot of calls, a lot of support from Illinois. People certainly are waking up there because they're living under such a nasty form of bureaucratic tyranny. Yeah, yeah, crooked, crooked uh, tyranny. Uh, I, I got to tell you something that I've been doing is uh, on my BlackBerry phone, what I'll do is from your website, uh, pretty much daily, I'll pick uh, one or two articles and cut or copy and paste them to a, a media message and send them out to the contacts in my phone attached with, uh, you know, an appropriate picture or whatever. Well, and see, uh, victory is so easy. Pick the media that you think is the most effective. And then hit your email list, your Facebook, your Twitter, your your phone contacts. Exactly. Just communicate with people. There's already so many of us that are awake and then other people are wondering what's going on. This will really hurt the globalists. That's why they're moving to start curtailing the web right now, because they know it's a chink in their pot-bellied armor. Go ahead. Uh, no, you're exactly right. And uh, well, I'll usually end my little, uh, you know, media text message there with the article and I'll urge them to forward to everybody they know or friends and family. And, uh, I've gotten a couple, you know, negative responses back and I've, uh, dropped the individuals from my forward list. You know, well, no, 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 I mean, the way to do it is just say, what do you think of this? I mean, it doesn't even have to be, you're pushing it on. I'm like, what do you think of this? That's always a good way to to uh, you know, try to reach out to the people that are in zombie land. Great job. Sorry to Brad, Matthew, and Merrill. If you call back tomorrow, I'll get to you first. Just tell, uh, remind John there on the phone system. And uh, I'll see you back tonight, 7 o'clock.